Well, starting off the night, it looks like he's going to be all C.J. Larry, but this guy put on one hell of a show. The Macho Man Brady Bacon picks up the Jesse Hawk Classic here at the Grand View Speedway for the USAC Amsoil and National Sprint Cars. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, we were, uh, you know, we, we got pretty aggressive with the car. We had to start eighth, so tried some new stuff, and uh, it worked out pretty well. We were able to kind of sneak around the bottom and get to the lead and then actually hit a tractor tire in <laughs> turn three once and, and lost the lead back, but able to kind of fight back and get back up there, so it was a fun race. Uh, I wouldn't have liked it to be a little less fun than that, but uh, it was good for the fans. I asked Chris this too. What is about? What's your opinion on Grandview? I mean, it seems like you guys have a lot of fun at this place, but yet you guys always need to put on a show of the year when you guys are here. Yeah, it's a different track. The banking goes, you know, it changes a lot, and you get up on the flat, and it's not your typical race track. You know, banking changes a lot. So, you know, if the track moves up a little bit, a little too far in one spot, it can really change how fast that line is. So. It kind of goes from the top to the bottom and back to the top, which it was like it did in the feature, but kind of gives you options throughout the race. Second year in a row, the 63 cars in victory lane. Your buddy Brian Clausen parked it last year. This guy be pretty special to park in the same spot he did last year. Yeah, this is the first time uh, you know I've been able to win in the 63, so it's pretty special, especially doing it out here um, in Pennsylvania and at the Jesse Hockett Classic. So I was good friends with Jesse as well. So uh, definitely means a lot. Hopefully, it kind of brought some memories back for some people and. Uh, just try to. It was big shoes to fill, so I was glad I uh, glad I could get it done for the 63. Definitely, definitely. Well, what do you think tomorrow night, Lincoln Speedway? Seemed pretty good down there last year. What do you think? And I know you're itching to get to the Grove on Friday night or Thursday night, I should say. Yeah, the, uh, you know, haven't been very good at Lincoln in the past. Actually, uh, I was good in the wing car there, in second there once, but um, I think we'll be good. I mean, we got the car pretty balanced, and uh, it's got some similar characteristics as this in the corners, kind of being flat in spots. So I'm looking forward to it. We should be good. Um, and uh, obviously definitely looking forward to Williams Grove in the sprint car. I'll be running a midget both nights, too, so double duty both nights at Williams Grove. What about Port Royal? I don't think I don't know if you brought the 99 here, but I know you probably would have loved to get out there, maybe get some uh, laps. I th you might be coming out for Tuscarora 50, I heard, right? Yeah, we'll be out here for the Tuscarora 50, so no, no wing car uh, on Saturday, so we'll just concentrate on the non-wing car, and then we'll be, uh, be back out here for the midget swing, and then we'll be back out for the Tuscarora 50 and the National Open. Awesome. Well, dude, i got to give you this here. This is a little thing we're going to start here. The USAC boys, they deserve Pennsylvania beer, so there's a yingling light lager for you. I know it's light lager, but, hey, you know what? A beer is a beer. Yeah, thanks. I, I like to get yingling when we come out here, so uh, it's starting to spread out. We can actually buy it in Indiana now, so no, no way, it, really? it's lost its luster a little bit, but uh, kind of the signature, signature beer out here, so it's pretty cool. Brady, you're an awesome man, dude, and we can't wait to see you the rest of the week. Hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow night Victory Lane again. Thanks. You got it. The Mosh Man, Brady Bacon, tonight's winner here at the Grand View Speedway. Tune in to PA Sprint Car Live every Thursday night at 7, right here, only on Burial Gang TV.